everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Last Epoch with pre-patch hype week day four. And what do I have for you today? Last Epoch's version of Treasure Goblins and really a new rarity of item and some new crafting materials. This is something that 11th Hour Games has want to put in Last Epoch for a very long time. Now if I sound a little different today, if my background looks different, if everything feels off, that's because today was new studio launch day. For the last 36 hours, I put in a new floor, a new rug, a new desk, new keyboard, new mouse, new audio mixer, new mic arm, new mic, sure SM7B, and the background from Germany at the entertainment and business booth for, from EHG is now behind me. And don't worry, I will do a studio tour soon. Not everything is in the correct space yet, but I wanted to make sure I got this video out. So more to come. Now, if you have not heard, I'm going to be attempting a 24 hour stream for 092 runes of power, which is only four days away. But maybe you didn't know that the third action RPG race treasure hunt sign up is now up. If you go to my discord first link in the description, Go to the last epoch chat you can sign up for the new treasure hunt we're going to be looking for the crest of unity which is the new mage helmet first one to turn it into a plus nine to elemental nova will win the race should be a whole lot of fun and honestly i signed up for the race and in 24 hours i'm hoping i win all right enough with the announcements last epoch rune prisons Let's see what's going on. Rune prisons are a special type of encounter you can find in the Monolith Echo as well as most campaign areas. While making your way through the world and eras in Etera, you might find yourself coming across a large floating prism held in place by chains. The intermittent shudders between the power that lies within the prisons. And this actual visual I have not seen yet. It looks really, really good than the placeholder one that I saw in the demos. Now, when you open this, an exiled mage is going to drop out. This is the treasure goblin. Okay, so you're randomly running around, you come across this prison, you click on it, and now you have to defeat Last Epoch's treasure goblin, the exiled mage. And honestly, he's he can be pretty tough. When we first got access to him, he was, he was I don't know, died eight times trying to kill him. That being said, What's cool about this encounter is you never know what version of the exiled mage you're going to get because they do different abilities and they fight enemies. So if you got a whole bunch of people around you, when they jump out, they'll fight the enemies and they will fight you. It's a very interesting encounter. Now on killing the exiled mage, they will drop an experimental affix and these experimental affixes will only drop on gloves, boots, belt gloves boot belt and just for kicks i swear they put this picture in for me this is on the boots look at this 33 percent increased minion damage four minions teleported around you after you use a traversal skill that affix is crazy now i wish i knew what tier this is because i'm wondering if you can get tier six tier seven more minions will jump with you but that i mean that's a really really good affix the really good affix and i know some other ones but i don't i don't know what i can share so i'm just i'm gonna leave it alone i'm gonna leave it alone right now these experimental affixes can even roll exalted as well as the potential for other affixes on the item to roll exalted this means that yes you can in fact craft a legendary item using experimental affixes very, very cool. Now, now we're going to get to the stuff I didn't know. Crafting. Two new crafting materials coming for 092 on Thursday. Successfully defeating an exiled mage above level 70 has a chance to drop a rune of research. This rune will seal an experimental affix on an experimental item. This obeys the normal sealed affix rules in that an item can only have one sealed affix. Take a look at that. Could you imagine you get a tier four uh, affix that's experimental, you seal it, and then you could 
craft another tier five. Unbelievable. Okay. But we're not done. EHG just can't leave it there. They take it to the next level. When sealing an experimental affix through the use of Rune of Research, you have a chance to receive a particular powerful crafting item, a Glyph of Insight. When this glyph is used to upgrade a normal affix, it will change into an experimental affix. This process is deterministic, deterministic based on the item. So you use this rune and you have a chance of generating this glyph. That's pretty cool. And again, this glyph will take an affix and turn it into the experimental affix, which means technically you could target farm the correct experimental affix you want more we need to test a little more we need to test a little more here's another pair of gloves plus four ward gain on kill 34 or 43 ward decay threshold as a level nine item so i'm guessing this would be tier one but i'm not sure but i'm not sure okay so that's the update and yeah it's pretty awesome new rune new glyph which in turn, new crafting, new treasure goblin. We're gonna be coming across these things all the time. So we asked for new end game. This is step one for what we are looking for. Okay, what do we have coming tomorrow? One shot and lost caches. That's all for today's pre-patch. Yes, 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 join us again tomorrow to look at one shot caches, lost caches, and some general improvements for monolith echoes. Coming for beta patch 092, runes of power. Are you impressed yet? Are you excited for this coming Thursday? I can tell you I am. Again, Aaron Action RPG on Twitch, 24 hour stream. It's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna be giving away copies of Last Epoch. We're gonna be spinning the Action RPG wheel for merch. It's gonna be a blast and we're gonna be racing. Don't forget to get in the race. First link in the description. That's all I've got. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.